Hi, rock stars. I am super excited to read to you We Are Best Friends by Aliki. I wanted to read this book because I'm really thinking a lot about my best friends in this world, and my best friends in this world are my students. Those are my friends. Those are the people I spend the most time with in a year, and those are the people that when I don't see them, I miss them. In this book, We Are Friends by Aliki, two boys end up, well, they're best friends to start with, as you can guess by the title, We Are Best Friends. But then something happens and it makes it difficult for them to keep being best friends. Let's redefine out what happens to these two best friends. And then I want to talk a little bit about, the next time we meet, what it means to be best friends and what happens when you can't see your friends in the same way that you're used to. We are best friends by Leaky. But you know what? My best friend is kind of knocking at one of my best friends is knocking at the door and wants to hang out. So I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and let that best friend in because if you have a best friend and they and they can join you, why not let them, right? So give me a second. Come on, best friend. That's okay. She's my best she's one of my best friends, so it's cool. It's cool. Hi, best friend. Come on. As promised, here's my best friend, Zoya. Zoya, you're going to be a reading buddy with me. But I'm going to need you to make sure you're respectful while I read, okay? I know you don't know how to read, and that's why I think it's important that you listen. Because this book is kind of about best friends, and we are definitely best friends. Sorry, friends, I'm trying to get used to reading to a camera instead of to a room of students. Peter came to tell Robert the news. I'm moving away, he said. You can't move away, said Robert. We're best friends. I'm moving far away, said Peter. What will you do without me? asked Robert. Who will you play with? We'll live in a new house, said Peter. You'll miss my birthday party, said Robert. I will be going to a new school, said Peter. Who will you fight with? asked Robert. Nobody fights like best friends. I'll make new friends said Peter. You can't move away, said Robert. You will miss me too much. Come here. Come here. Guess what? Now my best friend wants to go away. Come on. But, alas, Peter moved away. Have you ever lost a friend? This makes me think of that time that our friend Mia left. There was nothing to do without Peter. There was no one to play with. That's so sad. There was no one to share with. There was no one to fight with. Not the way best friends fight. There was no fun anymore. I'll bet Peter doesn't even remember me, said Robert. It's a good thing he's not here. I'd have to punch him one. Sometimes we do get really mad at our friends, right? Especially when we can't be with them. Hello? 
My name is Will, said a new face. Mm, I don't like freckles, thought Robert. I used to go to another school, said Will. Mm, I don't like glasses, thought Robert. My friends are all there, said Will. Mm, I don't like silly names like Will, thought Robert. It was fun, said Will. Not boring like this place. I wonder what's going to happen. Some good news. A letter came for Robert. A letter from Peter. Dear Robert, I hope you still remember me. I like my new house now. I like my new school now. At first, I didn't like anything. But now I have a friend. Alex. You are my best friend, but Alex is nice. It is fun to have someone to play with again. It's not so lonely. Love, Peter. Mm, I wonder how Robert felt getting that letter. What do you think he did? Robert drew Peter a letter. He drew two friends building a fort. He drew them playing with their cars. He drew them riding their bikes. And he wrote, if you were here, this is what we'd be doing. But you're not. Then he wrote, there's a new boy in school. He has freckles. Come on, baby. Come here. Here's Robert drawing and writing his letter. I really love the way he sketched to go with his words. Oh, check it out. Robert saw Will by the fence. Did you lose something, he asked. Well, I thought I saw a frog, said Will. That's funny, looking for a frog, said Robert. Well, what's funny about it? I like frogs, said Will. Well, I used to have a pet frog named Greeny. He'd wait for me by the pond near where I lived. He must miss me a lot. Looks like Robert's really doing a great job of listening to Will. I know where there are frogs, said Robert, right in my garden. You're just saying that, said Will. I mean it, said Robert. You can see for yourself. If I had a frog in my garden, I'd share it, said Will. That's what I'm doing, said Robert. That's a beautiful garden. I can definitely see a frog living there. Robert and Will rode home together. They went straight into the garden. The frogs were there. One leaped under a bush. Will caught it. I'll call you Greeny the second, he said. You like me already, don't you? The frogs lay their eggs here every year, said Robert. It's almost time. My friend Peter used to come watch the tadpoles. He called them Inkly Wiggles. Inky Wiggles. He'll miss them this year. Why? asked Will. He moved away, said Robert, just about the time you came. I write him letters. Then you can write him about Inky Wiggles, said Will. 
<laughs> they laughed. I haven't had so much fun since I moved here, said Will. Neither have I, said Robert. Robert wrote to Peter. Dear Peter, I can't wait until summer when you come to visit. The new boy is called Will. I showed him the frogs. He had a pet one near his home, but he had to move away like you. He thinks Inky Wiggles is funny. I'll write when they hatch. Love, Robert. P.S. How is Alex? P.P.S. See you soon. Robert mailed the letter. Then he rode over to Will's house to play. The end. Okay, best friends. I hope you enjoyed that story. We are best friends by Aliki. I hope that you made some connections. Think about who the main characters were in this book. You can stop and pause this video and rewind it to go back and read the pages by yourself. You can even mute me so that you can't hear Miss Ramos and you can just focus on the words if you'd like. Think about where this took place and also try to think about what connections you made. What does the story remind you of? And I'm hoping that we can talk about this when we meet as a class. I love you and I miss you and I hope that you had a great weekend and that you have a great week.